Alrighty boys, it is time to try a gold problem, okay? I have no idea if I can solve this live, but hopefully you can, okay? Hopefully I'm not that rusty. Hello everybody, I'm Karar, and today we are going to be doing Yuzuko 2019 December Contest Gold Problem 3 Mortal Kombat. Oh my god, the names are getting better and better, holy moly. <laughs> okay, so let us get started, shall we? Bessie has been playing the popular fighting game, Mortal Kombat. Count oh, it's Kombat, dang. For, <laughs> for a long time now, however, the game developers have recently rolled out an update that is forcing Bessie to change her playstyle. Okay. Use M button, okay, uh, favorite combo, okay, and okay, but every combo must now be made from a series of streaks, okay. Bessie wants to modify her favorite combo to produce a new combo of same length M, but made from streaks of button presses to satisfy the change in rules, okay. I bet this whole thing is useless, come on, get to the good stuff, okay. <laughs> what? Okay, huh. Okay, this seems like a shortest path problem, let's see, okay. Alright, so. You take N and K, you take S, and the final N lines are matrix. Okay, so her original combo is her, uh, yeah, so her original favorite is A, B, C, D, E, and you basically want the streaks to be at least K, right? Yeah, so essentially, if you want a streak of K, which is 2, yeah, it basically means that, what does it mean? Well, yeah, it basically means that you want to have, like, a, A, C, C, D, or something, I don't know, what? Okay, so that, then I guess you need A, A, like, C, 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 or something? I don't know, something like that. Okay, so, well, you know, like, the first three have to be part of the same streak, or first two have to be part of the same streak, right, by definition, okay? So, could you just do, like, D, P, maybe? Because, basically, you say, like, what's the best way? Well, okay, first off, the matrix is kind of useless, right? Like, well, I mean, not useless, but... If, you, if it's better to go to an intermediate, you can just use Floyd Warfield in order to get rid of the intermediate consideration, right? So, M is only 26, so you might as well use Floyd Warfield, that's just going to be M cubed at the max, and then that'll give you the shortest path between any two points. So, that's not a big deal. Now, the bigger deal is trying to figure out the best way to change this into streaks, right? And I think DP is probably the best way to do this, right? Because you basically say, the first two have to become a streak somehow, right? And, like... You can either change it to AA, you can change it to BB, you have to change, could change it to CC, you can change it to DD, or EE, right? Those are your options. So, essentially, you would go through, loop through those, and see which one's the best. What's N? N is just the length of this. Yeah, so, okay. So, as long as we're not doing crazy DP, it shouldn't be bad. Oh, yeah, so we could do, like, hmm. Yeah, so what the, wait. DP of, let's say, 2 of, like, a, for example, will be the cost of chaining that. How do you... Okay, so you have to keep track of the streak length, right? And you can't do n squared, so that's not going to work. You have to do... Huh. Change the... Okay, so change the A into a B, the D into an E, and then both E's into C's. Okay, I see. Huh. I feel like... There's no way to not DP, right? Except how do you keep track of how long the streak is? Well, I guess you're going to say the streak ends on this thing, right? Yeah, so yeah, okay, so the streak is just going to end there. Okay, so basically, let's say we're at here, right? We can't make any streaks before, so it's just going to be like impossible, like negative one, I guess. So then we go to here, and now our streaks could either be AA, BB, CC, DD, and so on and so forth, right? Okay, so those are the only options that we just calculate, um... We just calculate how long, how much it takes to shift to each of those individually, okay? Wait, hmm, how, what's the best way to do this? Hold up, this is annoying. Okay, we should get the Photoshop up. Okay, so you basically have A, B, C, D, E, and basically what I'm proposing is that you, like, have a column for each thing. So you have A, 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 or, well, a streak, like, the latest streak is an A, right? The latest streak is a B. Wait, is that even relevant, though? If it changes every time, huh, I guess it is relevant. But we have to keep track of how long the streak is, right? Otherwise, oh, so we could do, how big is K, though? Oh, K could be as big as N, huh? Now, the main problem is that you can make your K, your streak, as big as you want, right? Like, you could make it bigger than K. Huh, you might, do you have to use segment trees or something to find, like, sums? Oh, no, no that seems way too complicated. There, there must be a simple way to do this. Oh, I guess, yeah, so it doesn't matter what it ends in, right? So we just had to, like, but that's still n squared, because it could be any, well, let's see. 
Oh, oh, okay. So, so let's see. <laughs> well, basically, the idea is you could do K or you can make it bigger. But like, do we have to distinguish between it being bigger or not? Oh, okay. So that's the DP. Okay, okay, yeah. So basically, um, you can either add like a new streak of two, right? Or you could add to a previous streak, right? So essentially, uh, what's, let's just say that like converting to BB is the best. Okay, let's just say we have A, B, C, D, E as our options. And basically, converting to BB is the best, right? So essentially, it would take the minimum number of days. We could just put in some random stuff. And then we would go to C, right? Now, either we could like convert C to A, and then we could take this guy, right? Or we could convert it to B, we could take this guy, we could convert it to C, we could take this guy, we could convert it to D, we take this guy, we could convert it to E, we take this guy, plus like however much it takes to change. Or we could do a completely different um streak, right? We could like we could take the last two and convert them to something new, and then add it with however many ways there are to make this into a streak by itself. So basically there's two options, right? You either do add one to a previous streak or you just make a completely new streak. Okay, so why don't we flesh this out a little bit more, right? So essentially, like the recursion is dp um, i j is going to be like um, d uh, min 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 days, right? So min days two fix first i ending in j. Okay, so what recursion can we write? So essentially, let's say we want to find dp i j as a recursion, right? So uh, we basically sum over all the letters, right? Or no, we find the min over all the letters. Convert last to um, j, right, and use the existing streak, and use an existing streak, like plus dp uh, i j, i minus 1 j, right, or we could convert the last k to j, right, convert last k to j, and then plus dp i minus k j, or this could be anything, because you're starting a new streak, this could be like anything, we could just call it A or something. So we loop over all those, all 26, and we find that. So now we have a recursion, we just do like nk squared now, and that should be fine. Okay, now the question becomes how do you find like how much it takes to convert the last k to j? You can really just use prefix sums, right? Because each one takes a certain amount of like time to go from k to j, and then you could calculate prefix sums across the entire array, and then you know any range, right? You know from like j to k, uh, from i to k minus j, and yeah, then you should be good. Okay, let's do it. Oh, this is <laughs> gonna be a hard one to implement, but dang it. Okay, well, hopefully we know, know what we're doing. Let's see. C++ calmbat. Oh uh, yeah, that should be fun. Okay, nice. Our read in and read out from files is working. And then now what we gotta do is we gotta do int n comma o. We should probably do our epic global variable. Okay, int n comma n comma k. And then c n n n k. Okay, so then the next thing we gotta read is in it our string f. So we'll do string f, or why don't we just do a car array car 100,001. Let's see. Dude, I'm too used to Java arrays, god dang it. Okay, so now we wanna go for int i equals 0, i less than m, i plus plus, and we wanna keep track of like weights or something. Or we gotta call it a because that's what they tell us to call it, int a. What is a range from? Oh, it's pretty small, okay. And j equals 0, j less than n. Oh, what? <laughs> Wait, so it's directed, it matters which order you're going? That's annoying. So exploit works will only work on an undirected graph. I think it only does. Wait, does it? No, no, it works. It should work on both. Okay. Okay, so let us do a quick Floyd Warshall. All we gotta do is for intact. Technically, we could do Dijkstra's, but like Floyd Warshall is just really easy to implement. Okay, this is basically all we gotta do for Floyd Warshall. It's pretty OP, not gonna lie. So just to make sure that we did it right, we are just going to see out everything. And we should comment out this boy. And at the very end, we'll probably put space. Okay, so let us see, for example, so it says it's best to change D to E and then E to C. So let's see. D, wait, so A, hold up. Or A, I, J. So, okay, so 4, D to E is 4. And then E to C. Oh, E to C is 0. Okay, so it only costs 4. But if you went directly to C, it would be 5. So essentially this should be chained to 4, which it is. Good. This became 7. So essentially going from, what is it, C, no, no, E to B, 
was 7, but now you could go from E to A to B. Okay, nah, nah, so it seems to be working very good. Okay, so now we just gotta make our prefix sums, right? So we'll make another array, which is gonna be an int, and it's gonna be 1001 by 26. And we should call it uh, prev, pre, why well not pre, okay. And basically it's gonna keep the track of the sum of the amount it costs to change to a certain letter. So, like, if it's changing to A, then we would do that, okay. So essentially we just do 4, int i is equal to 0, i is less than n. Actually we could just do this like, yeah, so, well, huh, what's the best way to do this? Oh, wait, yeah, yeah, okay. So basically we're going to do pre 0, or well we could just do for m, we're going to do pre 0, i is equal to 0, okay, and then we're going to do for int i equals 1 to n, and then we're going to do for j goes from 0 to m, we're going to do pre i j is equal to pre i minus 1 j plus the amount it costs to change the current letter to whatever, to the next letter. So it would be plus a, which the current letter is going to be s i <laughs> minus 1 minus a, and then, huh, what, what is it? Oh, to j, we want to convert it to j, okay. Okay, so now we basically have everything we need to do our dp, so let us make our dp array, okay. And before we get into anything, we should just set everything in our dp array to like, um, we should make it pretty big, we should make it infinity, theoretically. So each day is 1,000 1, and times 10 to the 5, so as long as we're above 10 to the, um, as long as we're above like 10 to the 8, it'll never be bigger than that. So we can set dpij is equal to 1 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0. Oh, that's too big. <laughs> Thing's too big. God dang it. Well, we only need that. There we go. And now we can just do epic recursion. Okay. So what do we say it would be? It would be minimum of converting the last guy to a j plus dpi minus 1 j. Okay. Min. A, I, well, first off, you gotta check if it's even possible to do that, or, let's see, is K at least 1? Oh, but, <laughs> huh, let's think, well, okay, whatever, let's just do this and we could fix the things later, so, I, and then, min A convert to J, well, it should be S, I, minus S, I, okay, plus, D, P, I, minus 1, J, or the min of all the other ones if we try to do a streak. So that we're gonna do a for loop for, so why don't we do a for loop for that? So we'll do dp i j. And then we'll do for uh, int k equals zero, k less than m. Wait, do we even have to? It's convert the last k to j. Oh, but yeah, the previous one could be whatever. So we wanna take the min of those dpij is equal to min dpij comma a s to j or no we want pre to j now pre i plus one to j minus pre now we want to do i minus k right so let's say you're at two if your i is at one you want to do from zero to zero to two so that's why it would be i minus k plus 1. Okay. Oh, I can't do k. Oh shoot, can't do k. <laughs> Rip. Let's do like c. Why not? Maybe I should capitalize my like constant that they gave at the beginning so I don't have to do this kind of stuff, but it works, I suppose. And then we had to add in our, um, we had to add in like dp i minus k and then j. All right. Or no, no, k. Okay. C, I mean, there you go. Okay, we might be a bit off by one or something, so we'll fix that later, but I think this is the basic logic down. So let us think. So technically we should only start at i is equal to k minus one, right? And what happens if k, mi k minus one is equal to zero? That means you have, uh, your streak is one, so this would work, but then this would be problematic, or no one. 
So it would be 0 plus 1 is 1, and it'd be 0 minus 1 plus 1, so it'd be 0, so it'd be 1 to 0, that's right. And then this, this is the problema, so it'd be 0 minus 1, so do we have to do plus 1 here? Well, we don't want it to be dp 0c, we, we want it to be negative 1c. Should we shift everything up then? Yeah, we should shift everything up 1 and then set dp 0 to something legit. And then over here, we're going to do less than or equal to n, less than or equal to n, and we're going to do dp 0j. Do we want it to be dp 0j? Or, yeah, dp 0j always has to be. We could do if i equal equals 0, dp ij equals 0, continue. Okay. Or break. Or no, continue. Okay. And then this should be fine because we don't need that. It'll go start from 1, then it'll be minus 1. Okay. And then at the very end, let us print out our whole dp array so we make sure we're doing it right. Okay, okay, let's see. How do you get negative, dude? What? What? Hold up. Okay, so it's basically saying zero is impossible. Okay, so j is zero. Oh, oh, whoops, this is wrong. So it should be, oh, wait, no, that's right. You want zero j to be, so zero j is always zero. Wait, what? why is it doing like j zero? Oh, okay, this is i, okay, yeah. Makes sense, okay, so seven. 7. Okay, so 7 should be how much it takes to um, convert these two to A's, right? So changing B to an A2. <laughs> so that's not right. Okay, let's look at it. So you basically become I is equal to further 2, right? So that would be here. And then J is equal to 0. That's what it starts at. And it would say DP uh, 2, 0 is equal to min of DP 2, 0 and a s i j so what is s i oh we had to shift this down then okay and then is this i plus one then still oh yeah still i plus one and then is this so you want to go from i plus one to zero so it would be two minus yeah so that's out to there okay okay so it's basically saying it's um a s i minus one so that would be one or wait what what's s i let's print out s i for each one. Oh shoot it's starting Oh, oh, it has to be I minus 2 thing. Wait, wait, what? No, 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 that's not right. You want to convert... Oh, so it is I. Yeah, because you want to convert C to something. Okay, so that should be more right. Wait, what? why is this zero? Oh, okay, yeah, so that's right. No, no, no. I'm getting confused. Hold up. No, 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 yeah, yeah. so it should start on B. Is it... Yeah, yeah, okay. <laughs> I'm getting confused. Okay, so you start on S I minus 1, right? So that's going to be B, right? And then... Oh... <laughs> oh, oh, you gotta subtract A. Okay, that would make more sense. <laughs> Not looking that much hotter, but we're getting there. Okay, so basically your A, S, I minus 1 is going to be B, right? And then you subtract A, so that would give you 1, right? And you would check A, 1, 0, which is 2, plus D, P, I minus 1. So that would give you 1. But you want to get, what do you want to get? Oh, sorry, this is just adding. Okay, yeah, so this is changing the last one. So you're changing the B to an A, and then you get... Uh, plus dpi minus 1, which is going to be a thousand, so that's not going to work. But then you go into here, and you basically try all m or c, and basically you say it's either you could do i plus 1, so let's print out pre i plus 1. Okay, so it apparently takes 7, 0 for everything. Wait, what? Oh, oh, this should be c, dude. Oh my god, it should be c, because that's what you're converting it to. No, 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 no. You're converting it to j, so you're converting everything to b. So A converted to B gives you that? What? Why? <laughs> okay, why don't we print out pre? Maybe that's the problem. Okay, so this is our pre, right? So essentially, you're going to get 0, 0, 2, 7. Yeah, it should only be 2, right? Because you're converting the B to an A, right? Which is that. Okay, seems right to me. A to a B, that makes sense. Alright, so that makes sense. And you essentially, oh, so you want to do this minus that. No, what? Yeah, so it should be 2 minus that. Okay. Oh, yeah, so it should be i, which is 2, and then minus, okay, yeah. That would make a bit more sense. Oh, okay, yes, 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 I think, I think we got it. So now we just take the last one that we give the minimum of them, right? I mean, seems legit. Hey, okay, I think we got it. So <laughs> now we just go through the last ones, right? We have int, uh, mini, is equal to, like, one big number. Wait, this is 10 to the 9, right? Hey, it's 10 to the 9, epic. Okay, so for int i equals 0, i less than m 
I plus plus mini is equal to min of mini comma dp n i. Okay, and then we just c out min. Hey, okay, it works. Very good, very good stuff. Now, will it work? Actually, I have no idea, but we will see. It works in theory, okay? So hopefully in theory is good enough. Let's do it. Let's work. I mean, it's probably not going to work. These gold problems I never will get on the first try. Oh, what? <laughs> I mean, I'll take it. Bro, what? <laughs> hey, easy. Let's go. What the heck? Okay, nice, nice. That was a really cool DB problem. I'm not going to lie. If you, let, let me just reiterate how the thing works. But like, basically the Floyd Warshall thing is just like a troll thing, right? But the, the idea is you can either convert the last one to join the previous um, streak that you already have, or you can make a completely new streak. Those are the two cases. So the first case, right, you convert the last one to J, and then you add it to the previous streak, which also ended in J, so you're adding it to the previous streak. But the other case is if you make a completely new streak, right? So you convert the last K to a streak, and then it doesn't matter what the heck the previous stuff is. It could be whatever the heck it wants, but as long as you make a new streak, you know that this works. And that's basically all the code does. You basically just set up the Floyd Warshall. That's just like making sure that you did no intermediate steps, right? You didn't know the direct shortest path between any two. That's what Floyd Warshall does, and then you can do the same thing. Uh, the prefix sum is basically, like the idea is, how do you convert the last k to j, right? You basically do like, let's say you want to do this, right? Let's say we're converting everything to a, right? Then we know it takes zero to convert to a. It takes like two to convert b to a, right? So now this would be two. Then it converts three to convert from c to a. Then it, sorry, convert, it takes one to convert c to a. So we add two plus one. And then it takes two to convert d to a, and two to convert e to a, right? So we know that to convert d and e to a is 2 plus 2, which is 4. But all we got to do, we don't have to loop through it, right? We can just do 7 minus 3, and that's how we use prefix sums to solve it. And then you just do the dp, very epic stuff. All right, we did it. Thank you guys so much for watching. As always, if you enjoyed the video, leave a like and subscribe for more. I'm sorry, like, it was super confusing, because, like, gold problems, I'm legit, like, solving it, right? Like, <laughs> I mean, so, sorry if I was not coherent. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching again. As always, if you enjoyed the video, leave a like and subscribe for more. Thank you guys for watching again, and see you guys next time.